Can we get a shoe for everybody, Rackley? A shoe? A shoe. Shoe! Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. I am out here giving it a dangle with the dangle guy himself, the dangle master. You guys don't get to see this much on my channel, and if you guys want to see me fish, I know you guys don't think I fish anymore. I do. It's A lot of it is done on the Guggen Squad channel, so it will be linked down below if you guys want to go check that out, but we don't have much time. I got to go catch a flight here. We got to leave in like literally 30 minutes. Um, we just got done filming a bunch of epic Guggen Squad videos, and uh, me and Racket had like literally 30 minutes to kill, so I'm like, all right, let's go fishing and uh, and see if we can get some fishing content for you guys, because I know a lot of you guys want to see the fishing. The problem is in Nebraska, it's not really good for fishing because it's not ice fishing yet, but it's not necessarily like warm open water. So we are down south right now doing a little bit of fishing. And the bait that I'm going to be using is this little dangle stick thing right here. This is the Ketchco Bubonic crankbait. Red oh, you just had one. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Starting off with a bang. Anyways, this is a Bubonic. It's a red colored uh, little square bill crankbait, which Rackley said, red is the deal here. Red color is what gets all the fish in the boat. So a little bit more about it. Like I said, it's a collaboration with Ketchko, a little Bubonic. Uh, it's a collaboration actually with Chris Grout, which he's like a, he's like an underground like artist. So he started in 2011, he started hand painting crankbaits and basically Ketchko and Chris teamed up to where they can bring these awesome custom colors to you guys, to the masses. And this is available at Dick Sporting Goods right now, as well as shopcarls.com. And I'll link that down below. If you guys want to check it out, huge shout out to those guys for sponsoring today's episode. We're going to be doing a little bit of dangling, a little cranking. There's some grass and stuff, so kind of working these little edges. You're throwing a swim jig, I imagine? Uh, I'm throwing actually the juicy. Ooh, the juicy. Yeah. The juicy little jig. Look at that thing right there. So you're going to be kind of flipping and pitching these little pads and the grasses. And I'm gonna try to run the little crankbait. And uh, we're gonna see what kind of damage we can do in the next 30 minutes. And then I gotta go jump on a flight and head back home. I've been gone for three, four days now. And animals, I've been, I've been Macy's down there. She says everything's fine. Uh, I try to set it up with all the warming water things and the feed and stuff. So I'm hoping when I get back, everything is fine. This is the first time that I've left the animals during the winter. So actually a little bit nervous, but I think everything will be fine. Anyways, we're gonna get this bait tied on and, and get to dangling. You guys stay tuned. All right, getting the sucker tied on nice and tight. Look at that. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't have like a wind block on this this camera here. New. Oh, the eight. It's, it's the new it's GoPro. Absolutely terrible on the eight. The wind is. Absolute. It's so bad. Really. The, the eight is terrible. So you think right now they're just getting dangled on the wind noise? I would face this way. Face cast this way. Face this yeah. way. Cast this way. Rack. It says. I apologize in advance for the wind noise. I don't have a wind blocker on this. I'm trying the new GoPro out, trying to get some better quality for you guys, and uh, it might sound like booty hole so sorry about that okay facing my back to the wind is the strategy here so you've tried if you tried putting fuzzies and stuff on it and it, yeah, and it just don't do like it oh really with with like a mic a shotgun mic yeah. all right well for now i'm gonna just dangle this direction throwing this old crank a little red color we got perfect chop man it's, it's a good it's a good chop i can see the grass Got these uh, polarized Mondo optics on. I can see it down there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, snap, crackle pop. What up, boys? Shoo! Let's go. Oh, snap. You know I couldn't come down south without catching the old flare fish. I show these guys a little bit of love. Uh-oh, we got a double, son. Oh, what's that strat? You got a big one. I got a baby. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on now. Oh, snap. That is you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. My ladies and gentlemen, in fishing world, you yeah. versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I want y'all to look at that hook set too. Oh, that's on right in the top of the mouth. We designed these jigs, so when you set the hook, that's gonna rotate into the boo, good stuff. Little dangle sesh, got a double up. And uh, this guy just bit the back of this just barely. Barely got him, but these, these hooks are freaking sharp. You gotta be careful on hooking these suckers. Go right through your thumb. It was uh, it was fun. It, it makes sense, you know. I had to come here and catch a flare fish, but I need to catch that one's mom. There's one. Oh, sh I think he hit it on the pause. Big pause. Big pause. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Look at that on the pause. What's that strat? <laughs> this is like jerk bait fishing. That's a good one too. That's a good one too. Okay, all right. Literally, just like letting that thing dangle down there. That was weird, I've never caught a fish doing that with a crankbait. Oh gosh, he's barely hooked too. They're just swiping at this thing. Yes, sir! Sheesh, that's what we're talking about. Just one hook barely in the top of the mouth. Look at that, that mamma jam. There we go, baby. Sheesh, guy. All right, see you later, dude. That crankbait, dude, that was weird. I felt it hit twice. I felt him pop it, and he let go of it, reeled down, let it sit, boom, 
smoked it. I have not had that happen with the crankbait before, so. I've had them hit on the pause, but not like, that was like a heck of a pause. They like the, they like the pauses out here, so that's good to know. Oh, on the pause! What up? Let's go! What up, Rob? Oh, Luckers TV joined us just in time to watch me smack another one in the face. On the pause, dude. They are so dialed on the pause right now. This is incredible. Get up in here! What up? Okay, he's not as big as I thought, but hey, he put up a heck of a fight. Okay, got it. All fish deserve love. Dude, they're all eating it the same. They're literally just getting that, that back end treble hook. Just biting at the tail of it. Even when you're pausing it, they're not choking it. Just one of them days. See you, buddy. Well, shoo, that's only that's number three. That is not bad for a little little afternoon cranking sesh before we jump on the old jumbo jet and head back to the farm. This is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this nice warm weather. It's not super warm, but it's a lot warmer than it is at home. I can prom I can promise that. Right now we're we're probably dangling in the 50s right now, but uh, hey, not bad. Getting a few fish in the boat. Yep. It like a jig boy. Oh, that's a that's a head shaking son of a gun. Oh no! Come back. Come back. Oh no! Oh, that was Susie, dude. Oh my god. Just knocks slack and just wom wom wom. Oh, they're just nipping it. That's the problem. They're just just pecking at it. It's just it's just cold weather. I'm blaming it. Blame it on the weather, man. Over here, saying it's gonna be warm than it's not. That cold water, yeah, you're gonna get some nipping, uh, both from me and the fish. They'll both be nipping, nipping at the bait, and my nipples will actually be nipping. But just missed a giant. Hope I can get him back. But right, we're we're running a little bit low on time. We've only got a few minutes left. We got a jaunt on over to jump on over to the jet and get on out. But I want to catch one more, one more big, and before that happens. There's, there's one. Oh, I got a good one. You got a big one? I think mine's decent. I'm hooked up, boys. Oh, we got doubles. Oh, Racky's got a good one, too. Okay, mine's not that big. It's not that big. I thought he was larger than he was. He's not that big. Get in here, Junior. Sheesh. There you go. You got a big one? Oh, yeah. Another another you versus guy she tells not to worry about. Rackley, you're making me look bad over here. Sheesh. Googan flyers right here. We got the goods. All things Guggen will be at Shop Carl's, by the way. If you go click on that link for this little boot bonnet crank, you got a bunch of other stuff on there too. But see you, Junior. There's one. That's a good one too. Yeah, that's a real good. One. Yeah. He smoked it. Feels pretty darn good. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. 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 I gave him a second. Well, after I felt him smack it, I gave him a second. Yeah, that's that's donkey. Get off in here. Okay, not as big as I thought. They're shrinking as they come closer to the boat, but come here, fish. Sheesh. Not bad. Dude, they they sure fight. I'll tell you what. Right there, folks. Last fish of the day. We're gonna get this guy released and uh head to the airport. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh. How's it going folks? Welcome back. It is the next day. I am back home. And I'm with John. And John and I, we're gonna go check some traps. Uh, Bonzo stayed in my house while I was gone and he checked the traps for me um, and said there's not anything as of now. But obviously it's been one more night since that. So we're gonna go, we got four coyote traps out here, four coyote slash bobcat traps. So we're gonna check this guy. And I don't see anything, but we put a trail camera on this one. We might have to give that a gander. And we are pulling up to spot number two. We're not gonna go over the trail cam footage today. We're just doing a quick check, so we're gonna let them sit at least another day or two before it gets too cold here. It doesn't really look, you can see the pans right there. All the fur and the bait's still there. We got the trap, the trap's right here, so. Nothing's really wrong with that. Once it gets super cold here, these are all gonna freeze up, so. But for now, we've got another day or two of, of warm weather, so. Oh, for two, we got two more checked down there. And then we gotta go check on the animals. We gotta make sure those guys are good to go. And we are pulling up to number three. I don't see anything. Where's the trap? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Park, park the mule. Let's get give it a gander here. Oh, right here. Well, there's some fuzz right here. Oh, it's still, it's still looking good. Oh, dude, that looks like a print. I don't know what a, I that that harm was not there when I left it. The pan's somewhere in here. It's right there. So whatever 
just up. It was really close. I mean, real close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick this, put this stick right, right here. I put this as a blocker. It stepped over the stick. It worked. It stepped right here, but it needs to step right there. Wow. So something was here. We've got one more to check, and, uh, and then that's it. Well, spot number four looks pretty untouched too. I don't see any paw prints. That's actually, we got a good bait hole there. I feel like this one should have got it because we, we're getting traffic from this this whole other side of the property. We'll put this nice little break in here so they have to kind of walk around. They're forced to kind of walk right through there, but nothing. So we're going to leave it another day. Like I said, it's only it's going to get cold here in two more days. We got one more day of warm weather and uh, we're going to let it sit and hope to goodness that we can get one down on the ground. Coyote, bobcat, whatever it might be. We got to trap something in the backyard before it gets too cold. Now, time to go down to the animal shelter. Look at that. I think that's coyote poop, dude. I don't know what else it would be. It's really light and furry. I know this is odd. Oh yeah, that's 100% coyote poop. I know it's odd to play with uh, poop, but we literally just turned this corner and I just saw coyote poop, which I've never seen any trace of coyote. I'm looking for paw prints now. I can hear Quacky Chan over there quacking and all the goats are bang, but I'm like 95% sure. Let me know if you guys think it's something else, but it looks fairly furry. That's crazy, maybe we, gotta, we maybe need to put some traps over here. I didn't want to put traps by the animals because obviously that would just like attract things to the animals. But what if the animals are attracting the coyotes and then you put a trap? Maybe we should do that. Anyways, let's go tend to the goats. What up, Felipe? How's it going, buddy? I gotta make sure you guys got food and water. I put a whole bale of hay in their feeder. Actually, I, I moved their feeder inside. I like took it apart and stuff. So I wanna make sure that it, it lasted them the, the few days I was gone. Watch out, Felipe. Coming in hot. Dude, it's warm. How nice is that, Felipe, you bougie freaking goat? You get nice, warm bath water. Quacky, I'll be there in a minute, buddy. Oh, they ate all their hay. She gone. You guys hungry? How do you eat a whole thing of hay in three days? I don't understand. I feel like that's just abnormal for goats. Yeah, so I moved the feeder in here. That way it's out of the elements. And, and since they like to spill it, it gives them extra bedding. At least it's just gonna build the bedding up versus it just being out there it does no good. So I guess I probably should go get another bale of hay. They're probably, these little suckers are probably hungry. How do you, how do you eat a whole bale in three days? I don't understand that. Three goats eat a whole entire bale. Maybe that's normal. Let me know. I feel like that's just not normal. Like a, a freaking huge bale of hay, I feel like should last them a good amount of time. Maybe they're just beefcakes. Anyways, let's go get them some hay. There you go. Sheesh! Hey, there's enough room for everybody. There you go, Rick. Get some food. Felipe, Felipe, quit fighting. <sighs> like freaking kids out here. Felipe, got the food in, so they're good. I still can't believe they went through a whole bail, but, well, goats are good, they got food. Rick's trying to run away from uh, Felipe. I'm gonna check on the uh, chickens and ducks. What up, Tom? How's it going, buddy? You didn't, you didn't get, you weren't allowed in the, the chicken pen for the last few days. I bet you're pretty pissed about that. And, uh, oh no. Oh no, dude. James, I didn't even see him back there. I saw the feathers. James is back behind this. Oh God, what is that? Oh no. Oh rip. I don't think we can even show this. Oh dude. I don't think we can even show that. What's that strat? Oh my, just the head. That's a raccoon then, dude. Really? Yes. That's gotta be a raccoon. Dude, look at all this. Yeah, we can't even sh we can't even show you that we're just looking at the guts and stuff. Oh no! Is this a turd? Is this a coyote turd, dude? <gasps> Do you think that's a coyote turd? What else would that be? Kind of looks like it, yeah. It's like it's like it ate all the feathers from, from James, James yeah. and then pooped. That's definitely that is coyote. that's what it is. Yeah, that's huge, dude. That's James's like fur. What is going on? Oh, we literally saw coyote poop right down the, literally right down the road. Dude, that's the, that's a huge poop too. Like, okay, this is not good. Try to look for, hey, look for a prince or anything. Oh, I wish it was, I, oh, there's some more. There's some mud right here. I don't see much. Maybe right here. See this? See, there's like one, That does two, look, that looks like a paw. Like, yeah, kinda. That looks like a paw right there. Oh my gosh, folks. <laughs> that is not what I expected. We have, uh, we've lost, well, we lost the other ducks, but they weren't actually dead inside the coop. They had just gotten out somehow. James is literally dead. 
Head gone and all. Guts are gone. What oh, the thing? Yeah. Oh, is it? Its breast is gone. Yeah, we can't. Unfortunately, can't show you because it's all bloody. So it's all the meat is gone. Because I've this is what I've heard. I've heard coyotes, if they get something, they just take it and go. Like there's like usually no feathers. Raccoons will be weird and they'll eat like the head and then leave, and that's it. Oh my gosh, dude. I can't get over this. I have never seen a coyote turd that large before, or that girthy. That's 100% that's what it is. Look at that. It's all feathers. He literally ate it, pooped, and kept eating it. Dude, this is not good. This thing was locked up. I when I touched the fence, right when we came down here, I got zapped. It was, it was hot. Everything was locked up. I don't know what the deal is, dude. How can something like that get in? That, I mean, that's 100% a coyote. Like honestly, like I don't know what else would poop, make up that big of a poop. That's the only spot that I can think of is right there. It looks like a low spot. Yeah, we need to stake that down today, yeah. 100%. What's crazy is if a coyote came in here and, and murked, how did nothing else get, like how did the little duck over there or even Quacky or any of the chickens not get touched? Maybe, I mean, James was obviously the easiest target. I mean, he didn't, he couldn't walk very fast. So he couldn't, he couldn't get away for sure. But this makes me, I thought for sure it was going to be raccoon when I saw him. Cause there's feathers everywhere. His head's gone. His, you know, the, the meat's kind of gone. But seeing that turd, there's no way that turd was a raccoon. At least I wouldn't think so. I mean, it was straight feathers. Do you think it would be bad to leave James in here and put a camera up? I don't know. See, the problem is I was gone for three days. I don't know if this happened the first day. I don't know if this happened last night. I mean, it looks fairly fresh. It doesn't look it doesn't look old by any means. I mean, all the meat is still bloody and it's not all nasty and crusty. So this could have happened last night. Should we leave it and set out a trail camera tonight and see what comes back? Or how about this? How about we remove him and put him on the outside of the fence? That way we don't endanger our other animals, but there's still gonna be some eye appeal. Plus we can put the trail camera out so that the, the, the animals in here won't trigger it. I think we should do that, honestly. Cause if something came in here and ate it, I mean, I would assume it'd be back. To, if it happened last night, it would be back tonight, 100%. So what if we just stuck it like on this backside here, like somewhere close to where it was? I think that's gonna be the plan. I think the plan's gonna be, I know it, it, it may seem kind of cruel to use an animal's remains for bait, but for the sake of saving the other animals, I think it's necessary because we have to know what we're up against. Because if it's raccoons, all I'll do is I'll just line the perimeter of this with dog proofs and problem solved. Like it'll catch every raccoon around here. But if I do that and it ends up being a coyote, you know, I don't want the coyote coming back for this guy or that guy or any of these other chickens or even the turkey. We have to stop him. We can't bury, you know, we can't just go bury Quacky, you know, underground and just call it a day and hope it doesn't happen again. We have to know how it's getting in and what it is. We have to know what our enemy is, what we're up against. This is war. All right, folks, it's been been a few minutes. We, uh, well, a couple hours actually. We had some other things to take care of, but we went. <coughs> Quacky, oh, hey, turkey. I, uh, I let the gate open for the day. The chickens are out roaming around. Nothing looks dead. So that's good. We don't have any more casualties, but I think it's a good idea to leave the turkey in here. Personally, you guys let me know what you think, but I mean, he's kind of a beefcake and he's got some big spurs and stuff. And if there's something like like a possum or a raccoon getting in here, I feel like this dude could potentially take care of business. He can fly out. I've seen him fly out. So, I mean, if he wants to get out, he'll get out. But I think normally I, I kick him out and then shut it. But I mean, he's been getting along with all the animals. So I think we're going to leave him as kind of part of a de defense mechanism. But Okay, I'll warn you. I'll warn you real quick. There's no blood. There's no blood. Um, quacky, quacky, quacky. Quack. That's excessive. Anyways, as I was saying, as I was, bro, you guys think that I make it up? He knows when I'm talking to a camera. As I was saying. As I was saying, there's gonna be a dead duck, all right? Viewer discretion is advised. There's no blood, there's nothing graphic, but it's a dead duck, just like as if I went duck hunting, and his name is James Pond. Thank God I got it out. This is what he looks like, okay? I know it's kind of graphic, kind of not really that graphic. It's just, it's a dead bird, okay? Just proving a point, it's dead. I covered him up, it, he was all bloody and stuff. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna set this T-post out with a trail camera on it, and that way we can see what is coming around here? What's eating it? If there's anything in there, like I said, there's a giant turd in here. We saw that coyote turd looking thing over there. We just got to see what it is. We got to see what we're up against. If it's coyotes, we're going to take care of it. If it's raccoons, we're for sure going to take care of it. And, uh, and that's basically what's going to happen. So we're going to get this thing set up and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And hopefully there's some good footage of some predators. And then the war is on. It's gone. <laughs> 
It's literally gone. I pray. Oh no, the camera looks kind of fogged up, boys. It was kind of fogged up. I pray to God the camera worked. It's gone. Rip. Oh yeah, Bonzo's here, by the way. I never saw. Rip to change yeah. Bond. It's, oh my God. If this camera didn't work, it, it got like all, kind of like, it got all moist. Basically last night, all stuff's kind of fogged up, but I pray, please. I hope if this camera did not capture it, it's gonna be a, it's well if the camera didn't capture it, I'm gonna go get like four cameras and we just gotta bait it with something else. Oh I hope I hope so bad that this worked. Five clips. Okay, the first shots of the turkey. It didn't work. The turkey was pecking it. It didn't work. Nothing. It didn't work. It's it's the turkey. The turkey. I don't know if the ah, 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 crack it. Ah, ah, ah. I don't know, maybe we need to find the turkey. The turkey could have drug it off, for sure. Let's go, let's go try to find it. For sure it's not in here. I guarantee you, we got, if we, we just need to go get some, we need to see find bait. And I guarantee you it come back tonight. I mean, it, it's getting fed at this point. The only trail cam footage that it got was of the turkey pecking at it. I doubt the turkey drug it off. And if it did, it would have left it probably right around here somewhere. It's a bummer that it got all moist last night so it couldn't couldn't pick up all the footage of it but dude i wanted to see what it was so bad i don't know what to do I, I don't know what what other bait i mean if we were duck hunting we could use a duck carcass but we haven't been duck hunting there's no ducks at the farm right now we gotta bait it tonight and put it we gotta put like four cameras out just to make sure something catches it at all angles because i don't know what it is you guys let me know what do you think it is it drug it off from to my knowledge what i've heard if something just takes an animal and takes it away it's a coyote and if a coyote's getting that close, I mean, like I said, we saw the turd, the huge coyote turd that we think's a coyote turd. I mean, it was massive. And then we saw another turd up there. I'm thinking it's a coyote and uh, it's making me a little bit nervous now that the coyote, the coyote's getting comfortable. The coyote's been getting fed every night. So we need to run to the store and get something to bait it with tonight and put more cameras up so we can catch it. But that is not gonna happen in today's episode. <sighs> Unfortunately, rip to my guy, James Pond unfortunate we did actually off camera we staked down that little pocket that we've been talking about that they could be slipping under we staked it down so that's not an option anymore so we're just gonna have to keep an eye out but i think again step number one is to figure out what the predator is and then we gotta start setting traps so we're gonna run to the store a little bit later today and do that but if you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below also let me know what, what do you think it is do you think it's a raccoon do you think it's coyote do you think it's bobcat do you think it's chupacabras do you think it's bigfoot what do you think it is um that is out there killing the farm animals thank you guys so much for watching and peace